Peace family, a Netflix PR chief has been fired after using the N-word in a meeting. This is going to be an interesting story. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video and give you the rest of my commentary. <laughs> Netflix is letting go of its top communication spokesman, Jonathan Friedland, who served as the streaming giant's chief communications officer for the past six years, is out of the company amid insensitive remarks he made to his team. Sources say that Friedland used the N-word in a meeting with other Netflix staffers, some of whom later reported the incident. Per Insider's Netflix CEO, Reed Hastings, sent a company-wide email explaining Friedland's exit around 12.45 p.m. Pacific time on Friday. The former Disney executive first joined Netflix in February 2011 as the vice president of global corporate communications and was promoted to the top comms role the following year. A replacement for Friedland has yet to be named. In a statement to The Hollywood Reporter, Friedland said... I'm leaving Netflix after seven years. Leaders have to be beyond reproach in the example we set, and unfortunately I fell short of that standard when I was insensitive in speaking to my team about words that offend in comedy. He continued, I feel awful about the distress this lapse caused to people at a company I love and where I want everyone to feel included and appreciated. I feel honored to have built a brilliant and diverse global team and to have been part of this collective adventure in building the world's leading entertainment service. Friedland tweeted about his exit on Friday and then later tweeted out, Thanks, rise high, fall fast. All on a couple of words. He quickly deleted that post. In his position at Netflix, Friedland oversaw media and content publicity for the streamer's original series, films, and specials in 190 countries around the world. For more on this story, head to THR.com. Well, there you have it. This Netflix PR... Um, reports that he's used the N-word twice in a, in a meeting. So the people decided that, decided he, they had enough. They let him go. So See, guys, it sh goes to show that it doesn't matter if you're a CEO or a PR or a vice president of a company. If you get caught using the N-word you will be toast. You will be terminated. Now, what does Netflix have to do with this guy? Now, again, he is he used to be a PR, which is like like virtually he was a chief, which is basically has is is he look he looks overseas of the of the um, Netflix shows or movies, etc. So that's his job his job title. He's look over all these Netflix movies and videos and whatnot. But it also shows that one thing you don't want to do is use racial slurs in the office or at a meeting because you never know who's watching you in that meeting. And, of course, he got fired and he's probably like he did it. And you notice that he said he did it in a comic way, a comedy way. With that racial slur isn't funny. And that's why you lost your job. So, guys, um... All I can say with that story is, is that sometimes, even though you're a boss, even though you're a CEO or any PR chief or anything, a COO, it doesn't matter what title you are. If you get caught using any racial insensitive words, you will be terminated. And 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 hopefully he learned his lesson with that. Well, let me know. Let me know what you think about. The, what you think about this video? Share a comment. Leave a comment. On the bottom of your screen and um, follow me on um, social media along with subscribe on my YouTube channel. Ready to subscribe to my reaction videos as well. So with that being said, this is Lion's Den signing off. Deuces.